<coughs> we have this equation. Um, we have been given that uh, that y equals to ln of uh, cos x minus sin x over cos x plus sin x. And using that information, they want us to show that uh, dy dx equals to a negative 2 sec 2x. Now, um, we shall first of all let we shall let u equals to cos x minus sin x over cos x plus sin x. Now, once we do that, so our equation then becomes y and then will be equal to ln of what? ln of u. Now, we can now differentiate y with respect to u, that is dy du equals to, when you differentiate ln of u, you get 1 over, you get 1 over u. Once you get this, so we can again now differentiate u with respect to x. I can do it here, so we get du dx. Now we are going to differentiate this one, but use the quotient rule. We put down the top, when we put down the bottom, which is cos, which is cos x plus sin x, and then differentiate the top. So when you differentiate the top here, when you differentiate cos x, you get negative, negative sin x minus, um, when you differentiate sin x, you get cos x, but we already have negative, so we have cos, we have cos x. Then, minus, minus, we now put down the top, which is cos x minus sin x. Let me open that bracket so that I have cos, cos x minus, minus sin x, and then now we, we now differentiate, uh, we put down the top and differentiate the bottom. So when we differentiate the bottom, when we differentiate, um, so it's a continuation. When you differentiate cos x, you get negative, negative sin x, and then plus, when you differentiate sin x, you get cos x. Then all this over bottom squared, which is cos, then we square it. Uh -huh. So here, I'll open up the bracket. I have cos x times negative sine x. We get negative cos x sine x. And then cos x times negative cos x. We get negative cos x squared. Then sine x times negative sine x. We get negative sine x squared, sine x times negative cos x, we get negative sine x cos x. We are through this bracket, then minus, we have, we now need to multiply this cos x times negative sine x, we have minus cos x sin x and then cos x times cos x we have plus cos x squared uh -huh. so negative sin x times negative sin x we have plus sin x squared negative sin x times cos x we have minus sin x cos x. 
So at this point now, uh, I now need to remove this bracket, open the bracket. Let me wrap up here. So then, then I have dy, du, u dx then equals to, now I have minus cos x sin x minus cos x squared minus sin x squared minus sin x cos x and then this sign and this one will be positive when you open that bracket this becomes positive so it will be plus cos x sin x this sign will affect this one becomes minus minus sin x squared cos cos x squared then this one minus sine sin x squared now negative and negative this will be positive plus plus sin x cos x But remember, all of these are over bottom squared. Now, before we put the bottom, you can now uh, you can see here the common uh, the common terms. This is uh, negative. This is positive. So they will cancel out. And then we have uh, this is negative. This is positive. So they cancel out. So we remain with the we are remaining with the negative negative cos x squared we have negative cos x squared negative sin x squared negative sin x squared so we are remaining with the with the 2 minus 2 into cos x squared plus sin x squared but remember it was over bottom squared which is cos cos x plus sin x then squared. But this is the fundamental identity of trigonometry. Cos x squared plus sin x squared is 1. Uh, so this equals to minus 2 over squared. So this is now du dx and then we are applying chain rule. We apply chain rule dy dx is given by dy du dot du dx uh -huh. so our dy du is, is this one therefore um, we can wrap up here So our dy dx will be equal to now 1, 1 all over u dot du dx which is minus 2 over cos x plus sine, sine x then squared. Now 1 all over u. So this is 1 all over, now we replace here with this cos, cos x minus sin x over cos x plus sin, sin x times minus 2 all over times that. So 1 divided by this is the same as cos x plus sin over cos x minus sine sin x then times minus 2 all over cos cos x plus sine sin x squared this and this are the same 
one factor cause with this one and therefore we remain with when we multiply we remain with now two minus two over this and cos we remain with the negative 2 all over cos x minus sin x into cos x plus sin x can rub this now this is a difference of two squares when you open up this bracket you have minus 2 over this will be cos cos x squared minus sin x squared is a difference of two squares so we have cos x squared minus sin x squared then from the from the sums and differences of angles where we have cos cos x we know that cos theta plus phi is the same as cos theta cos phi minus sine theta sine phi but with the double angles where theta equals to phi we can write this one as cos cos 2 theta because they are now the same because 2 theta equals now this will be cos cos theta squared minus sine minus sine theta squared meaning that cos 2 theta equals to cos theta minus sine theta squared so from here we can say this so we shall have dy dx equals to minus 2 over now this will be cos because 2x because 2x which equals to now cos 2x is the same as 1 is the same as minus 2 times 1 all over 1 all over cos 2x 1 all over cos 1 all over cos x is the same as sec x therefore this one this one equals to minus 2 sec 2x we have shown. Thank you for watching and listening.